I don't know what you are politically, whether you lean Democrat or uh, Republican or Libertarian or what's your view, what's your uh, thinking on the, the economy, but whatever your politics, I think everyone can agree that we live in the, uh, the richest country at the richest time in the richest country in human history. Can we agree on that? America, for all of its warts, is a wealthy country. And if you compare the wealth of your average American to almost anyone else in the world, especially third world countries like Africa or even places like India or Brazil, you will, you will begin to feel exactly how much more wealthy Americans are than most other people in the world. Even America's poor are the world's rich. Poverty level at America is still in the upper escalon of, of, of wealth when it comes to a global scale. Uh, an analogy I like to use is if I were to offer you a job and I said, it, it, it'll make $37,000 a year. For a lot of you, you would turn that job down because it would be a pay cut. For some of you, it'd be a significant pay cut. But $37,000 a year puts you, in terms of a wage earner, it puts you in the top 4% of the world's uh, wage earners. Top 4%. So in America, you've got the top 4% protesting against the 1%. We are wealthy when it comes to the world's standards. We have extra. How many of you have ever uh, t traded in a perfectly functional uh, cell phone? No problems with it whatsoever, other than it was a year old. You traded that one in, gave it to someone else so that you could get the newest model. Anyone? That's me, every year, right? Your pastor is a, an, he's an iPhone junkie. Uh, maybe you've done that. How many of you have a uh, garbage disposal? A few of you. Have, how many of you ever put garbage in your garbage disposal? You don't put garbage, right? You put food. Perfectly edible food goes into the garbage disposal and goes out. Where does it go, by the way? I don't know. I think it goes out on your yard or whatever, and you get nice green patches on your yard. You have extra, and that extra goes into your yard. You have so much extra, you feed your grass with your extra. Uh, you upgrade. How many of you ever had a garage sale, right? Hate garage sales. How many of you had a garage sale? That's your extra. We all have extra. Now, the problem is we don't feel like we have extra. How many of you feel rich? Anyone? Nobody feels rich because rich is a relative. Uh, we live in a culture where our culture is always focusing our attention on what we don't have. Uh, we, we drive through neighborhoods with really big, nice houses, and we think to ourselves, you know, my house is okay, but you know, if I could have my rathers, I would much rather have, have this house. Or my car's okay, the grill's kind of messed up, but if I could, if I could have a new Ford F-150, I would rather have that. Our culture's always focusing on us on what we don't have, and for that reason, even though we are rich, even though we do have extra compared to the rest of the world, we don't feel rich because feeling rich is, is relative.